Thank you so much for logging on to KXY.com. I'm Mark Peterson. 82 degrees as we look at this Monday forecast. Things are looking okay. Wind's going to be relatively light, 53 for the overnight low. Um, really a nice pattern for the next couple of days, then increased clouds. Then we're going to see some changes. The Almanac, yesterday 78 degrees. Can you believe it? It felt warmer because the sun was out, 43 for the overnight low. Below average there, above average for the daytime high. Um, 893, the record high, 1937 in 1970, got down to 33 degrees. So we look at what's going on, and we have, again, this uh, energy that's being generated, this little low that's coming up the coast. It's going to have moisture with it. We're going to see that come inland. We are going to expect that to influence us uh, cloud wise and maybe an isolated scattered shower. So here is Odile. This is one of the uh, areas that we're having issues with. This is the hurricane, still a Category 3, bringing in horrific amounts of water. The winds in excess of 115 miles an hour. Um, some 30,000 residents of Cabo San Lucas have been um, taken out of uh, harm's way and put into shelters. So this continues to work in. It's going to influence Arizona, New Mexico, Southern California with heavy rains, flooding expected there over a couple of days. Some of that's getting pulled up into the jet. We can see that the rain coming in, and this is going to be again from the Great Lakes all the way down into parts of Texas. Temperatures today, very mild. Temperatures into the mid 60s, even into northern New England, into the low 70s. The heat is on for the southwest. Seven day forecast sets up nice. I mean, we're going to be at 82 today, 85 tomorrow. Then that front comes through. We're going to see a chance of showers, 82 on Wednesday, Thursday, mild in 78, 75 Friday. That looks to be the cool spot of the week. Saturday, 77, and then 82 on Sunday. Again, I-90 shut down in both directions at the state line because of a, a truck with a dangerous chemical. They believe they do have it capped, but here is how you're going to get to Idaho. You're going to take North Harvard Road. You're going to be uh, taken from there off I-90, head up to Trent Avenue, all the way to Pleasant View Road, and then you'll come southbound there. That'll work your way into areas of Post Falls. So again, I-90, both directions shut down, should be open this afternoon. Just watch KXOY.com. We'll have the latest right here.